Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm the Witchy Sister. Today I have a new unboxing for you. And um, I just want to tell you guys, I have gotten every single box except for two from this company since it started. Um, I'm missing the Intuition box and I think it's a self-love box. But this box is amazing. Absolutely amazing and beautiful and this is May's box it just arrived and I have no idea what's inside of it but I'm super super excited last month was shadow work and um, there can be no light without darkness so it was really cool this company doesn't give a whole lot of hints about what's going on in the box so that's nice um, it is super heavy Oh, and it's not sealed with tape. So inside, it looks like this. I've tried to do an unboxing of this box before, um, but I kept getting the images out of frame. So hopefully I don't do that this time. But it they changed their um, tissue paper. It used to be polka dots. Well, now it says soul spell on it and they have a real nice wax seal here ooh fighting mercury um, mercury in retrograde so this is the package that comes in with all your paperwork and um, so all your little cool little things are in here for information wise and this is what it looks like this month. This is really cool. I am super excited. Okay, so, um, oh, 100% ceremonial. Cacao King, half a pound. What is this? Cacao King. Oh my God, it's chocolate. Oh my god, it's chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I love me some chocolate. And it's half a pound. It is so good. Um, interesting. 100% ceremonial. So I wonder if there's something in this. Um, every box usually comes with two butterscotch candies. I really enjoy these. And this, what is this? A little black see-through sachet. What is in here? Oh my gosh, really? The other thing I love about this box is the crystals come in um, so many different shapes. Last month was like a quartz clear crystal ball and um, then it came with opal earrings and uh, the month before that it came with a sodalite little blue mushroom It was, the, and this one is a pyramid. That is cool. So cool. I wonder what this is. It almost is kind of like um, reflective, like the hematite. So I wonder if that's what this is. So cool. All right. And then there's this little. Ooh, what's in here? This little bottle. Or bottle. Little baggie. And again, it's got their logo on it. Um. Oh, it's a bracelet. Copper bracelet. Copper is known to stimulate energy flow and enhance your psychic abilities. It's an energy conductor that will move energies and amplify your thoughts. It is capable of storing healing and protective properties. This is why it 
was used in making of shields, totem poles, and talismans during ancient times. Copper can also ground and move wide array of vibration vibrational frequencies from the spiritual realm to the psychic realm, helping you channel and communicate with higher dimensional beings. That's cool. Okay, so this is the bracelet. up of it really oh so stinking cool okay I like that um what is this oh we got a cacao king sticker I like my stickers this one's like a holographic one that's cool um Shun Shungunite Shungunite Protection Sticker Pro provides protection against electromagnetic frequencies, radiation emitted by electronic devices. Attach it to your phone, tablet computer or any other electronic devices to reduce the influence of EMF energies on you. These stickers can also help protect your personal energy, increase your productivity, and work on your biometric balance. That's cool. Okay. Unretrograde protection spell pendant. Wow, there's there's another piece of jewelry in here. Okay, so very carefully. Oh my gosh, what? Mercury is in retrograde set. Mercury in retrograde sets anything mechanical or techno technological in disarray. You can wear this pendant whenever you need protection from the mischievous Mercury. Don't forget to set your intentions when combining the items. So there is a... What is this? Is this like a little pendant spell bottle? This is so cool, guys. Oh my gosh, it is. It's like a little... Oh, well, it's not a spell bottle, I don't think. Oh my god, it so is. Look at that. Check that out, guys. That is so cool. I love stuff like this. Oh my gosh, I love stuff like this. Okay. Put it back. Go back on. And the ball is just really pretty. Okay, and then it's got like a little spell oil and black salt maybe. And some colors and screws. Ooh, little tiny screws and colors. And then I think this is black salt. I'm not sure, we'll find out. Oh, and like some little rose gold bits. It says copper shavings. Copper shavings, electric bite, essential oil blend, black salt, glass pendant. Oh, that is, I love this. Ah, sorry. Okay. Oh my gosh. So cool. All right. And then we got, what is this? Ooh, it's a candle. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, um, it, maybe like, um, almost like a lemon. It smells really good. <laughs> Go away, retrograde. <laughs> yes, communication. Yes, productivity. Yes, patience. Yes, takes. Take it easy. Yes, good vibes. I love the, um, 
artwork on here. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. But it definitely smells like lemon. Maybe lemon balm, even. Okay. Seven day candle spell. Before lighting the wick, trim the wick to guarantee a smoother flame. If you wish, dress the candle with herbs and oils corresponding to your goal. Take some time to center yourself. Call upon your god slash goddess if you have chosen to work with one. Set your intention or goal. You can get creative beforehand and recite over the candle. It's important to be consistent over the next seven days during the spell. Hold your desire in your mind and light the candle. Visualize your desire, goal, and results for at least 5 to 15 minutes. Allow the candle to burn for as long as you can on the first day. When you are ready to put the candle out for the day, use the candle snuffer or place a plate over the top of the candle to extinguish it. Never blow the candle out as it ends a working while a candle snuffer or pinching allows you to pause the spell. Relight the candle the following day. Focus your intentions for 5 to 15 minutes. Try to burn the candle at least 15 to 25 minute increments a day. However long you are able to burn the candle uninterrupted, then the better. Remember to never leave the candle unattended. A seven day candle may burn for seven days. However, it's not uncommon for the candle to burn less than seven days or more than seven days. A short burn is on average four days. A typical burn length is five and a long burn is six. Short burn time is usually good but can also mean that more work is needed than just one candle. It might be more spiritual work. It might be a sign that you are overlooking some aspects of mundane world that you need to pay more attention to. A long burn might indicate the overcome, oh, the outcome will not be quick and the meaning depends on the circumstance. All right, so seven day candle. Ooh, 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 ooh looks like a shirt. It is a shirt. Wanted for disturbing the peace. Oh my god, I love this. So wanted for disturbing the peace. Mercury in retrograde. If encountered, use caution, energy protection, high vibration, meditation, and healing crystals. Reward. Creativity, energy, luck, Effective communication. Sorry, I'm reading it upside down, so that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I got a shirt too. Yay! So um let's just recap real quick. Oh no, herb, stay in there because I want to put you back in the candle. Stay in there. Stay in there. Okay. I apologize too. I'm not using my normal um, tripod setup today. All right, so we got the t-shirt and it's super soft. We got the t-shirt. We got the magnet. We have the um, unretrograde protection pendant. We have the copper bracelet. We have the pyramid, we have the paperwork and the seven day spell candle, the two, um, butterscotch candies, the really cool sticker, half a pound of ceremonial chocolate, and our paperwork. So in our paperwork, let's find out what's going on. Quick because 
already 14 minutes in. All right, so energy, and it tells you everything that is in the box. The, um, oh, Shung, Shung Night Stone of Life. So that is, the pyramid is also a Shung Night Stone. And it tells what it is, um, the importance of it on there. Uh, Mercury Retrograde Quick Guide. And it has the survival tips and review. And I think it is a little booklet. Yes, it is. Very cool. Strawberry Full Moon Calendar. I know I'm covering up some items here. And this is the cacao, Ceremonial Cacao. Um, or coca. I, I've heard people pronounce it both ways, so I'm sorry if I'm driving you crazy with my pronunciation. But it tells all about more than drinking chocolate. Coca is a the purest, most original state of chocolate. And so you guys can go ahead and pause it and read that right there, just because I'm running out of time. And it has the recipe on the back and how to use um, the chocolate for ceremonial purposes. So cool. All right. So tell me what you think about this box. This is my favorite box right now so far. Um, this is one that I will continue to get. In fact, I've started a little craft with all the paperwork that comes with it. So uh, well, uh, make sure you come back and watch that video. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bless it be.